to the game here and welcome back to another Bismarck video I'm gonna show you a couple of matches Stuart Pandas that's how weak the armor is even Stuart can kill us easily but thank god the shot goes through the engine damaging it without burning or killing me as we move on I see stir 101 there another shot taken <laughs> we're killing them now i survive against british sabots much more than anything else and it's kind of satisfying to see that happening now there is plane coming i'm quickly backing off making sure it's not a revenge bomber now i'm still missing spotting capability by the way in this vehicle even though it's in a modification tree i cannot spot in the battle i hope this vehicle will come out with the spotting capability otherwise i will be sad aa here minigun boy can wreck us easily i need to be careful trying to get him but unfortunately vertigo guidance doesn't allow it which is minus eight quickly put in the artillery hope it will get spooked doing some maneuvers here taking the shot from front it was ikea i don't know did i survive that shot maybe he didn't shot me with the hit fs otherwise i would have been dead hit fs is really dangerous for this tank anyway uh, a quick repair here we actually lost our tire I see that AA is shooting at the plane, that's why I'm going with reverse to not lose time by turning. A quick kill here. AA is dead. Everything is threat for us. We have no armor, everything can go through. But because of our size, we're a bit more survivable than Radkenwagen. Here I'm a bit lost. Trying to decide where to go. Teammates are way back there. I'm kind of circling here around alone. Need to decide fast. So here is another wicker skill. He didn't expect me. I'm getting a side shot on him. Disabling the B point. Of course I'm not going to stay. It will be a suicide. Where are you looking, buddy? What was that? I thought I was going to die there, but I don't know what happened. Anyway, get in the T-54, making sure no one is around me, spotting the tank. But unfortunately missing him. I thought my tank was tall, I can get him by backing off a bit. But didn't work. Anyway going after him by using our amazing mobility i would have been long dead if i was using the u.s striker american striker but with bismarck mobility is no problem getting shot from behind not doing anything about it because now i'm in cover Hill is protecting me i still want to get that guy that kept charlie now smoking here to not get another ass shot. I already hear the enemy engine. There he is. That was the premium US boy. Not so premium at all. Getting strafed by plane here. Thank god his caliber is low. Not doing significant damage. But taking my tires I guess. I hear the engine at the left side of me. Above this rock, there is an enemy. Now, need to figure out how to deal with him. I guess he can hear me too. If he's not a noob. That's why it will be really hard to take him out. And, little bit unlucky here. Couldn't one-shot him. But, 
He also couldn't one shot me. So quickly reloading. Even though my loader is out and killing him. Now here's the bad stuff. 25 seconds of reloading. There's an enemy tank next to me. And the guy on top is jumping, doing tactical flip. Finishing me off, but we're killing each other. Just in time I got reloaded and killed him as well. Time to finish this battle. Clear the rest of the enemies. So far we have 9 kills. Not impressive, but I remind you, this tank have no armor. And it's bigger than mouse, so surviving with it depends on luck. Now, please take your attention to the kill feed because i actually noticed this kill in editing process if you go look at the kill feed i actually killed two targets here helicopter and object because on the screen it says only one target is destroyed i didn't notice that during the battle but after re-watching apparently i killed two targets there with one more didn't even see the helicopter right away there i guess it's a good timing there is a jet here while doing some circling around he switches to ground that was his biggest mistake quickly terminating him you've been terminated ah. whatever i see that our teammate needs help instead of 101 i spotted another tank firing atgm and getting gaijin sometimes things like this happen i have one atgm left can i kill that guy who's capping making sure to come out with the right angle to not mess nords are not 100 percent accurate sometimes it's possible to mess after resupplying with fresh nords returning quickly to the battle zone and i noticed that their captain b actually gonna get greedy here and launch two nords just in case because it's almost end of the match this could be my last kill just making sure it's a guarantee kill at the end we're getting 15 kills carrying the match with the bismarck g91 combo the best combo there is and here is another good match that demonstrates the survivability of this tank head to head uh, we took one shot there from the wickers and I spotted another wicker here, taking another shot to the turret. As I said before, I survive against sabots a lot. And this clip here is a live demonstration of it. Turret space armor is not that bad after all. Took a ass shot there. Survived. Spot on the AMX. And got him. So when you're gonna see a beast mark, like you should do this against every tank if you don't know how to kill it. Make sure you destroy the barrel first. Then just finish him off. keep taking the hits survivability is impressive even though sometimes we die out of nothing for example hole break or something there is still some moments that we survive a lot getting slaughtered by AA spawning with G91 and again finishing the remaining of enemies and cannons are good as well now either i was lucky i crashed to the rock but survived what a match so yeah guys that was the bismarck and g91 combo gameplay i just wanted to show you some survivable moments as you've seen in battle this tank can take lots of shots and here is my stats compared to the other tanks in the lineup kd ratio of 2.1 and i played like 63 battles with this so far 
71% of victory rate. It's not a VT1 too, but still, it's also not a decorative tank. It's actually effective. As I said in my review video, this tank is a good performing tank. So I recommend you to get it. Only bad thing about this tank, it's repair cost, which is 12,000 silver lines. But I kind of get it why it's so expensive now. That was some TH800 gameplay with the G91. I hope you enjoyed it. Gonna see you next one. Peace out.